Coming up after calls, again, I'm going to get to these video clips of U.N. censorship. I'm going to get to the latest on ClimateGate and the global government establishment. The good news is Copenhagen is in deep trouble. It, it's falling apart even better than I thought it would. So the Death Star's explosion is a little bit prettier from a distance than I even thought it would be. You know, seeing the real thing is just... It's like seeing a beautiful woman on television is not like seeing one in person where you can smell them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Watching the New World Order blow a gasket and, you know, they're down, but they're not out. But let me tell you, watching them bleed in the ditch is certainly, certainly quite a feast for the eyes. <laughs> Craig Sadler is just having a field day laughing in there. That's good. It gives, well, what's so funny? Oh, you just... <laughs> well, you know it. You know women are God's gift to the planet. I mean, why not just admit we like women? Uh, 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 like, start getting into that. Why not just have some fun here? <laughs> oh, the blessings are so good. All right, that's enough. That's enough, ladies and gentlemen. I said I'm taking your phone calls. I start thinking about Copenhagen on fire and burning. Oh, I do tend to get a little, little. well, I'm having endorphins flow right now. Just like your Super Bowl team wins, you've been a fan of, say, the Patriots for a decade, and they won the Super Bowl, you get all excited. That's your primitive synapses firing. It's fooled your body to believe your tribe has just had some victory over an enemy army that was going to kill you and drag your women and children off. And so you just won the battle. You're feeling good, but it's not real. It's, it's over something that doesn't matter. But I start having victory chills. I'm having them right now. Like my, my hair is even standing out. Like my French bulldog, when it gets excited, and the, you know, the rough sticks out. I'm actually, my hair is actually standing up on end with excitement. <sighs> because I can taste victory. Hmm. I can just feel the New World Order having its power sapped and drained. Oh, it's still powerful, but I liken it to 2001 Space Odyssey when the commander's gotten into the crawl space and he's turning the HAL 9000 off and it's going, I'm afraid, Dave. I'm afraid, and he's just focused, just turning it off. It takes a long time to defeat the New World Order. Just like it took them a long time to get their system going. But... It's like a big sandcastle they've built. They've spent weeks building it, but now a high tide's coming in and, and washing it out. And they're like piling sand up as fast as they can, and it doesn't matter. The tide's coming in on them. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. There's a lot of bad stuff happening, too. But, man, when we start having big victories, I'm going to break down the big victory. But, um, all right, Annie. Hartwell, Lynn, Brandon, Curtis, I'm out of control. I'm going to here in a moment. The last caller called in, and with hushed reverence, he, he, he said, Alex, do you mind if I speak to you about Knights of Malta? And, and it's, it's almost like uh, the Monty Python when they jump out and they go, The Spanish Inquisition! In fact, can you pull that up on YouTube? Monty Python, the Spanish Inquisition. It's not like it's the dun 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 Spanish Inquisition. Uh, but um, yes, I know Lord Monckton's a lord, and he's a member of a whole bunch of fraternal organizations, and he is a hereditary peer. He's Scottish, and he's always had an anti socialism, anti New World Order, anti global government bent. He's anti-European Union. Yes, he is a Catholic, but there's different branches of the Catholics. The Catholic Church is involved, Rome is, big time with pushing the European Union. That is true. And uh, the Dutch Prince Bernhard and Joseph Redinger and others were involved with the Jesuits and are involved trying to set up that empire. And the Catholic Church is right up there, part of the pyramid. There. I've talked about it forever. And they say, he will never discuss it. He will never talk about it. It doesn't matter. You judge a tree by its fruits. It's like Glenn Beck. I would love to support Glenn Beck. But 
the guy says we need to have value-added taxes and there are no FEMA camps and Ron Paul's bad. And then the supporters call me and go, I never heard him say that. Well, you must not be paying attention then. All I hear is good stuff out of Lord Moncton's mouth. And he's there covering it. And we get him on and talk about it. And he writes devastatingly accurate. Here it is over here. Detailed reports about what's happening. The fruit off this tree is good. If Lord Moncton was an apple tree, it's like a honey crisp. You know, those big juicy apples. I mean, Lord Moncton is like, oh, man, this is, this, is, this is really good. This guy has done a lot of good work in his life fighting tyranny. And so uh, you judge a tree by its fruits. I mean, look. The biggest thing is people think that everyone in every system is evil. And I've always talked about compartmentalization. Saul of Tarsus was a Sanhedrin enforcer for the Jewish religious hardcore Sadducees and Pharisees. And he would go around killing people all over Greece and all over Turkey and all over Rome and all over Italy and all over Judea. I mean, he was like Darth Vader, folks, hunting people down and killing them. But then he woke up and had a revelation. And, and you're going to see that powerful people from inside the structure are who we want to stand up. What does what um, G. Edward Griffin talk about all the time? We have to sell our idea of liberty and freedom. And a lot of these people in the system aren't active or they don't understand the big picture. And as they wake up and get educated, we're going to wake them up. Instead, everybody, not like half the people out there, obsess over, is the planet really run by aliens? Is it really run by Jews? Is it really run by Catholics? Is it really run by the Illuminati? Is it really run by... And if I could say anything to you, I only go off what I can prove. And the Protestant leadership, the Catholic leadership, the Jewish leadership... The Turkish leadership, the German leadership, the Japanese leadership, they all think the same. We're the elites over our group. We keep our groups in fear of the outside to give us power. We feed off our groups. We always give them an outside threat, so they let us abuse them. And we're social engineers who believe that we have a right to rule people. And that's who the globalists are. They use scientific systems of control to dominate populations. And so you have a bunch of different pyramids coming up together at that tip top. And so it isn't a Jewish conspiracy. It isn't a Catholic conspiracy. It isn't a Protestant conspiracy. It isn't a Muslim conspiracy. It isn't an atheist conspiracy. It is a power group conspiracy. It is a scientific dictatorship of people that know how humans operate and who have set up scientific systems of control. That's the bottom line. And so you must oppose their systems, their global taxes, their global regulations, their federalization of your local police. But if you go to a city council mem a meeting and start talking about Jews or start talking about Catholics or start talking about Muslims, everybody has been trained that that's divide and conquer. They're not going to listen to what you say. That's why the feds infiltrate groups and try to get them to be singular issue so you can be divided. This is their ball game. And then once you're divided, they can threaten other groups with you and actually build up their power over here, and then no one's ever covering the big picture. I mean, supernatural powers are attributed to the Catholics. I mean, they're just all secret agents of the Vatican running around in black robes at nights, and then people you know, superimpose my head on Catholic priest robes and say I'm this top assassin. I mean, it's just completely made up, folks. I'm not Catholic. I'm nothing against Catholics. My family are famous Protestants. Captain Jones of the Mayflower on my dad's side, on my mother's side, 